Out here, where the dirt road ends, you'll find these guys. Locked, loaded, and ready for whatever comes their way. Are you ready? If you ain't trigger happy, then you better start packing Cause it's time to kill them all, we'll be here all fall I'm big buck bound, call them up and shoot them down Me and the boys are gonna run this town hunting Dirt road, nothing but the best to bite The crack it, don't expect nothing less than a front leg Four arm shiver, gonna throw them in the back for like a NASCAR winner I'm gonna have to admit Heart's been sold, I ain't hunting nothing else but that dirt road. This is Dirt Road Outdoors TV. Well, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Dirt Road Outdoors TV. On this week's episode, we're doing something a little different. We're heading down to Key West, Florida, and do a little deep sea fishing. We're going to meet up with my buddies, Mark Jr. and Kevin Penetroni from South Carolina Trophy Hunters. And they got us hooked up with Captain Avery from Salty Knot Charters. Gonna take us out there, do some deep sea fishing. Hope we get a bunch of fish to fill the freezer. Well, co-host Riker Burgo and myself are ready to get this party started. Time to hop on a plane. Let's get ready to head to Key West, Florida. Well, there's no doubt we're going to be out of our element a little bit down here, but definitely looking forward to getting out here, getting on the boat. The guys have been giving us some fishing reports. They're catching a ton of mahi-mahi right now, so with a little luck, they'll keep biting a couple more days. Just hit the ground in Key West. It's going to be a fun week. We think, Riker, we made it. We made it. Well, we ended up grabbing our bags, headed outside, waited for Kevin to come and pick us up. Well, it didn't take long and the boy showed up to get us. Look at that fella right there. Come on, man. What's going on? What's going on? Ready to do this or what? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Looks like you're going hunting. <laughs> you don't know no better. <laughs> hey, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. Well, it's time to hop in the truck. We're heading to the house. Mark and Kevin are just tore up with this whole fishing thing. So they've got a house rented for the whole month of May down here in Key West. So we're gonna head to the house, drop off our gear, grab the boat, go get that all gassed up, ready to go for tomorrow, get a fishing license, and get a game plan put together. Well, the guys end up taking us to their favorite bait shops, we get our fishing license. So this is place you kind of hit stuff where we go fishing or what? Cut your sales, we'll get you hooked up with anything you want to do down here in the lower keys. Well, Kevin and Mark, they showed us all the different lures we'll be using the next day, picked up a few good ones for tomorrow, and they were up there trying to get some inside information of where the fish are biting at. You can go all the way to 800 foot for snowies. I mean, it's what just... About the... Well, I think we got a pretty good plan. Can't wait for tomorrow. I don't know about Riker, but I don't think I got much sleep last night. I was pretty excited about getting up this morning, getting out there, helping get this boat loaded up, getting all of our gear ready to roll, and getting out there fishing. I'm rolling there. All right, I think we're all loaded up, got all of our gear on deck. Time to head this boat out of the harbor. We gotta go check a couple bait pots they got out, get us some live bait fish to, to use for fishing today. Then we got about a 40 minute ride out to where Captain Avery wants to start fishing, so it's gonna be a fun day. You gotta pick through the uh, yellow tails and throw those back and keep the pinfish and we're good to go. Well, we end up sorting through that bait fish, through all the yellow tail back. Now it's time to crank this boat up, see what it's got, and let's head towards the fishing grounds. This segment is brought to you by Love of the Hunt Outfitters, New Mexico's premier big game outfitter.
Well, we finally made it to the fishing ground and, and our plan today is we're gonna watch the sky looking for birds. We're gonna watch where the birds are diving, let them show us where the fish are. We're gonna dive in a bit. Yeah, this is what you have to the birds well, sure enough, the guy spotted a bunch of birds that are diving, so it's time to get these poles rigged up, see if we can't go get hooked up. What are you doing here, Clayton? Getting ready to rig a belly who up. You're the man for the job? I'm the man for the job. I gotta get in here and get a rubber band. Well, we're gonna end up having a couple different rigs set up. Clayton hooking up one belly who on the left side of the boat. We're gonna have two streamers on the other side, hoping to get a fish caught. Well, growing up in Minnesota, I did a ton of freshwater fishing for northerns, walleyes, bass, trout. But this is only my second time ever out deep sea fishing. So really excited to see what the next couple of days brings. I don't think we had the lines in the water five minutes. We had our first bite. There he is. Go. Well, I'm hooked up and got a nice mock my on there. I'll tell you what, they fight. You know, when you got that fish on, everybody's trying to help. We got several cameras going. This should be pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, on the fish in the water. You know, as I get him closer to the boat, they start to show up in the water. Man, they're cool looking fish. Captain says, wrap your hand. Put it. Or your armpit. Yeah. We don't get no better than this down in Key West, Florida. Man, it's fun. Well, I'm on the board. Now it's Riker's turn. Well, Riker hooked into a jumper. You want to talk about a fish that's putting on a show. Hooking into that first Mai Mai, what a feeling. And then he jumped out of the water. That was reminding me back home, back in the rivers, and catching the trout and bass and they're jumping out of the water. It's, it's an awesome experience. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 22 inches right here. That's the legal fish. You legal? Yeah, legal. Well, as Riker's putting his fish on ice, all of a sudden I'm hooked up again. And this oh, time it feels like good. a big fish. I mean, this fish is fighting like crazy, and it's a jumper too. You know, as the fish gets closer and closer to the boat, the bigger and bigger it gets. Right there is what we come down to Florida for right there. Salty knots, charters. You guys want to have fun down Florida? Give these guys a call. Can't wait. I gotta put them in ice so we can on them. They're everywhere. Good deal. And that's what I'm talking about right there. It just does not get no better than that. Come from Minnesota. I'm light skinned and I burn easy, so I got a big hat for the trip and I got a lot of sunscreen. So hopefully I can keep it covered and not burn up. Well, we're all sitting around watching Clayton reel in the fish, and all of a sudden we come up on a school and we look out and you can see Mahi Mai all over the place. But what you can't see is as Riker's fighting his fish, you know, Mark is over on the side throwing chum over the boat, trying to keep this school of Mahi close to the boat. Tell you what, this is what it's all about right here. I mean, there is fish everywhere. The fight is on. Oh, I got him. Got him right here. I'm hooked up. Ooh, son. Get this out. Oh, big old dolphin. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Another one right next to him. Well, you can see as I bring my fish in the boat in the background that Mark's just unhooking one he's caught. You know, Clayton's hooked up right now. I'm around the other side of the boat, 
and Captain Avery's hooked up, there's literally dolphins surrounding this boat right now. Tell you what, I have not did a lot of deep sea fishing, but if it can get better than this, I can't wait to see it. This segment of Dirt Road Outdoors TV is brought to you in the memory of Hunter Wayne Burgo. Gone too early, but never will be forgotten. No, they're not that. They're over there. Well, as you can tell in the last segment, we were on the Mahi Mahi. We caught a ton of them. But next thing you know, we were off to school, so we had to try to do a little hunt. We had to try to find the birds diving again. Get this boat back into position and see if we couldn't catch a couple more. Well, it didn't take long. We were on the Mai Mai again and Riker was hooked up. You got it, Riker? Well, after we got Riker's fish in the boat, we were pretty much done fishing Mai Mai for a day. Time to go target a different species. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's what we came out here for. Did 15, 20 mile, mile in the cooler. Time to go try and catch some tuna. You know, the cool thing about fish with Mark and Kevin and Avery is these guys have been doing it for a long time. And they know just by looking at what flock of birds is out there, what species of fish is probably down there. So we find this big old flock of probably 200, maybe 300 birds. They said, them are tuna birds. Let's get rigged up for tuna. It wasn't long, we were both hooked up, had a double on. Well, you could tell it was a different kind of fish because they fought completely different than the Mai Mai. Well, I'll tell you what, there's no doubt it's a tuna fight. I mean, they fight twice as hard as Mai Mai. You know, the forearms are starting to burn a little bit. All this reeling, we're not used to it, but we're loving every minute of it. We probably took five minutes to tire those fish out and finally we got them to the boat. Oh, good one. That is a pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jay. Where are we going? Right. The cooler. Up here to the bow. To the bow of the boat. From this yeah. one. You want to talk about an awesome day on the water? It just don't get much better than that. Time to head back to shore. Clean these fish up and get ready for a fish fry. Once we got back, Captain Avery was going to show us how he liked to flay the Mai Mai and the tuna. It's a lot different than back home. How you doing? Captain Avery Hughes uh, with Salty Knots Fishing Charters. We're out here uh, in the Florida Keys. We uh, caught some good dolphin today, man. Mahi Mahi. I'm um, going to skin one here for you. Uh, just gonna cut right here behind the fin. Down the backbone. I usually cut the tail right here in half and I go back up around the stomach. Here in the corner. Go ahead. Sealed off. And there's your fillet right there. While Avery finished flaying fish, Mark and Kevin and the crew was upstairs in the house, prepping dinner, getting ready for a big fish fry. If there was one uh, fish down here you could fish, what would it be? Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi, the old dolphin. What is it about the Mahi Mahi that makes Kevin go wild? They taste good. Taste of it. And they're fun. It's good. 
Well, these guys are going to cook it their southern way. They're going to batter it all up. It looks pretty good. You know, there just is nothing better than a fresh fish fry. Can't wait to dig in. It's the good stuff right there. It's That's how we do it in the Florida Keys. It is pretty darn good. These fellas do know what they're talking about. That's Professionals. Look at us. We know what we're talking about with food. Well, we did a little sampling, but it's time to head to the table, thank the good Lord for a great day of fishing, and time to dig in. Well, I'm just thinking about how good this fish is. I will say this, it is very tasty. Very good fish. We gotta thank our, our chef over there. Cooking up in the kitchen for us. Got a fresh batch. Fresh batch coming up. Look at that. Mm. Maybe we can get some more tomorrow. You can, you can cook it the Yankee way tomorrow. This segment is brought to you by the Associate Group, ensuring family, business, and the transportation industry for over three generations. Alright, morning number two down here in Key West. We're going to try something a little different today. We're actually going to head out to a shipwreck. You know, we're going to target Amberjack, African Popno, and pretty much anything that'll bite. We're going to start there, and then we're going to head back after the dolphin. What are we going after here, Tiny? Big Amberjack, African Popno. Oh, that suckers eat good. Well, Kevin ended up dropping the line down to make sure we didn't get into the shipwreck, hands me the pole, and it didn't take long, and I had a bite. You know, next thing you know, I got a big fish on. Have no idea right, what it is. Up. We're thinking maybe a big amberjack or a shipwreck down here. He's coming up. These things here will tire a fella out. I think. You know, as I'm fighting this fish, you can see in the background there's three boats over there with scuba divers on them. They're all getting into the water, so we're trying to get this fish up, you know, hoping to get a couple fish caught before the scuba divers scare them all away. Well, you can see as I'm fighting this fish, Riker's trying to move in there, trying to get that money shot. Well, as I'm fighting this fish, you know, the arms are starting to burn. You know, you just about get up where you might be able to see what it is. About that time, it dies back down the bottom. Tell you what, you want to talk about a fight. We got a bunch of cameras going, and Riker's got one set up to film under the water. So hopefully, when we get this fish a little closer, we can get some cool shots. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll see. Don't worry, he'll take you back to the bottom. <laughs> Reef donkey. Well, finally, I start wearing this fish out, and you start to catch him on the underwater camera. Well, after about a 10 minute fight, finally get this fish up to the boat. It's a big old African pop no. Probably one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. This is pretty awesome. Well, Avery ends up gaffing him for me. We get him in the boat. What a giant. Lucky there, buddy. Good Hell job. Yeah. <laughs> there, boys. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Some of the best. My friends is what you come to Key West, Florida for, right there. Good looking fish. They pretty good eating too, aren't they? Oh yeah, pretty good. All right, how are we gonna cook this one? Uh, pan sear it. Pan sear it. Can't wait. I'm gonna throw them in the ice. Well, I threw that big old African pop no into the cooler. You know, we were going to try to catch another fish, but with the scuba divers in the water, we just couldn't get another bite. Well, it's time to head back to the Mahi Mahi ground. Maybe we can catch a few more of them and get a few more fish caught today. Well, the next 
day we were back out there and see if we can't catch any more fish. I tell you what, these guys have got the Mahi Mahi figured out. You know, before we could even get the cameras turned on, they had Riker hooked up and it was game time. You know, it's just cool watching everybody pitching, everybody's either grabbing a camera or grabbing a gaff, everybody's wanting to help. You can definitely tell they're passionate about the fishing. We ended up catching a few nice Mai Mai. Well, pretty much as soon as Riker got his fish in the boat, I was hooked up and the fight was on. Well, you can see old Joe's got that camera under the water trying to get some cool shots. You know, we were trying to milk it out, trying to get some cool shots with the underwater camera and stuff, and uh, that fish ended up falling off where we got in the boat. Well, after that fish fell off the line, we get the lines back out in the water, and literally just a matter of minutes, we had a double on again. Me and Riker both hooked up. I tell you what, these guys sure know how to put you on some fish. Definitely exceeded our expectations. Uh, big thank you to Mark, and Kevin, and Avery. Can't wait to do it again. Well, our first trip to Key West was definitely a success. You know, caught way more fish than we ever thought we were going to. And, uh, you know, big shout out to the whole crew at Salty Knot Charters and South Carolina Trophy Hunters for, for hooking us up. You know, if you're looking for a great place to go fishing in Florida, give the guys at Salty Knot a call. The number's on the side of the screen. Go out here and have a great time just like we did. You know, big thanks to everybody who helped on this episode. Can't wait to do it again next year.